chapter wise list of all my videos is available at this point for dvd pen drive please write an email to me these videos they do not require internet they play offline there is no problem of buffering and please subscribe to my channel for regular updates thank you thank you for your support once again we will now continue our discussion of equations that are not quadratic but which can be reduced to quadratic form so let us start with our next equations x square plus x minus 6 minus x plus 2 is equal to square root of x square minus 7x plus 10. This is another equation. This is not quadratic, but it can be reduced to quadratic form. Let us see how. In this case, quadratic expressions are below the square root. Normally in such cases, what we can do is, we can try to factorize this, factorize this and some way always comes out. Although we could follow that approach of scaring both the sides, but when quadratic expressions are under the square root sign, then it usually pays to factorize them. Let us see how we can do that. So when we factorize this, let us write it on rough side. We know that we have an identity x plus a into x plus b equal to x square plus a plus bx plus ab. This identity we have already used in the chapter on factorization. So we have to basically find two numbers whose sum is the coefficient of x and whose product is the free term and if the coefficient of x square is 1, the coefficient of x square is 1. So we have to find out two numbers whose product is minus 6 and whose sum is plus 1. Obviously such numbers are 3 and minus 2. 3 plus minus 2 will give me plus 1. 3 into minus 2 will give me minus 6. So the factors of this are square root of this square root sign we retain. The factors will be x plus 3 multiplied by x minus 2 x plus a x plus b x plus 3 x plus minus 2 which is x minus 2. This minus sign can be extracted to give me x minus 2. So what I am seeing is that x minus 2 is now common. Most probably x minus 2 will be common out of here also. Let us see whether it is. To factorize this we need two numbers whose product is 10 and whose sum is minus 7. So what are those numbers? One number is 2, the other number is minus 5 because 2 into minus 5, uh, so uh, this will have to be minus 2. Minus 2 into minus 5 will be 10, minus 2 plus minus 5 will be minus 7. So these are the two numbers that we require and the factors would be x minus 2 into x minus 5. Now we will collect x minus 2, x minus 2 together. So what we do is we bring this to the left side to help us in the matter. We write it as x plus 3 into x minus 2 minus this we can write as x minus 2 whole square. This we have written as this one. Minus square root of x minus 2 into x minus 5 which is equal to 0. So the purpose of writing this way is so that I can take square root of x minus 2 common. Now if I take square root of x minus 2 common from all the factors what will I get? Square root of x plus 3. This gives me square root of x plus 3. Minus this will be square root of x minus 2. 
this will be minus square root of x minus 5 equal to 0. Now in this case this factor and this factor are two factors we can see. Therefore, square root of x minus 2 equal to 0 gives me one solution which implies x is equal to 2 is one thing and this factor can also be equated to 0. So, we will write it as square root of x plus 3 minus square root of x minus 2 minus square root of x minus 5 equal to 0. So, one possibility is that this expression is 0 which immediately gives me x equal to 2. The second possibility is that this whole expression is 0 which gives me 3 square roots. So, what I will do is I will put x minus 5 to the other side. And I have already got one solution as x equal to 2. So, we can write it equal to square root of x minus 5. One thing we observe is that this, this is one solution for us we already have that we have to solve this equation for the other solutions of x. So, what I will do is I will erase the board and take this to the top. So, this is what I have square root of x plus 3 minus square root of x minus 2 equal to square root of x minus 5. One thing we can observe here is that these all these square roots will have to have positive values. This means these must be individually greater than or equal to 0. Let us write that also side by side. So, x plus 3 should be more than or equal to 0 which implies x should be more than or equal to minus 3 x minus 2 should be more than or equal to 0 which implies x should be more than or equal to 2 and likewise x minus 5 should be more than or equal to 0 which implies x should be more than or equal to 5. Now these three conditions will simultaneously be true if the greatest of these 5 is obeyed that is we can write that x should be more than or equal to 5. So, whatever value we finally obtain for x, that value has to obey this condition. If x is more than or equal to 5, then it will be obviously more than minus 3 and obviously more than 2. So, all these will be, all 3 will be satisfied if we simply say that x has to be more than or equal to 5. So, we write this one with us on our sidebar. Now, let us scare both the sides. When we scare both the sides, we will get like this. This scare root will vanish. So, we will get x minus 5. a minus b whole scare. So, this will be this scare for which I will get x plus 3. This will be plus x minus 2 because the square will vanish out minus 2 into square root of x plus 3 into square root of x minus 2 equal to x minus 5 whole square. Sorry, this is already scared. Now what I will do is, I will I'll call up them together now. 2x, 3 minus 2 will be 1 plus 1 minus 2 square root of x plus 3 into square root of x minus 2 is equal to x minus 5. So, what I will do is, I will take this story to the right side and bring this one to the left side. The purpose is to have square roots on one side so that I will scare it once again. So, this 2x and x, x will come to this side become minus x I will be left with x, 5 becomes plus 5, I will get x plus 6 equal to, this story goes to the right side.
Now again square both the sides. x plus 6 whole square equal to 2 square root of x plus 3 square root of x minus 2 whole square. Open this one x square plus 12x plus 36. This is a square plus b square plus 2ab and this will be 4 into x plus 3 into x minus 2. I have individually squared all of them. 2 square is 4. This is x plus 3. This is x minus 2. So I can write it as 4 into x square. I will just open this up plus x minus 6 which is equal to 4x square plus 4x minus 24. So when this x square moves to the right side it will become 4x square minus x square so I will get 3x square. 4x and 12x, 12x goes as minus 12x so it will make me minus 8x and minus 24 is there and 36 will become minus 36. They will together become minus 60 equal to 0. So we have to solve this quadratic equation. For this find two numbers whose sum is minus 8 and product is minus 60 multiplied by 3. That is I have to obtain partitions of these factors. This will be 3 into 2 into 2 into 5 into 3. This 3 comes here and these are the factors of 60. Now I have to partition these factors into two parts so that their sum is minus 8. From this I can see that 3, 2 and this 3 they will together be 18 and I will be left with 10. So therefore minus 18 and 10 are two numbers whose product will be equal to minus 60 into 3 and whose sum will be equal to minus 8. So the roots of this equation will be I will just get a vacant space here. The roots will be minus 18 by minus a which is minus 3 that is 6 and this is 10 10 divided by minus a that is minus 10 by 3 so I have two roots one is this and one is this but as I already know my roots have to obey this condition out of these, this one doesn't obey, so I, re I reject this root. So one root is 6 and the other root that I found on the previous page was 2. So 6 and 2 are the roots of the original quadratic equation. You must be thinking that I have taken a long time. The purpose was to explain you the things. But if I were to do it alone, it would not take more than 45 seconds. Because if one is well versed in everything, then it is not a game of even 45 seconds. So you should be brave enough to fight a question and remove these square roots by factorization, by squaring and then be careful about these aspects because whenever square roots are there, you must be able to check the final answer against these going negative. Let us take our next question now. The next question is 9y raised to the power 4 minus 29y square plus 20 equal to 0. Before I take up, let me give the general form of these equations which are reducible. The general form will be ax2 to the power m or ax to the power 2m plus bx raised to the power m plus c equal to 0. 
that is instead of powers of 2 the general power the general quadratic equation we already know is of this type instead of this 2 the powers are even powers of x for example x raised to the power 6 and x raised to the power 3 3 2s are 6 like m 2s are, are 2m so if the equations contain powers of x which are in double like 2m and m then this equation you can see is of this form this is y square and this is 2 times this that is 4 such equations are always reducible you can put y square equal to x so if the equation would have been 9y to the power 8 minus 29 y raised to the power 4 plus 20 equal to 0 then this equation would have been of the form 2m m then I would have put y raised to the power 4 equal to x ok coming to this when I do this this equation reduces to 9x square minus 29y plus 20 equal to 0 so I have to find two numbers whose sum is minus 29 and whose product is 20 multiplied by 9a and c so obviously by inspection minus 20 and minus 9 are themselves those two numbers whose product is 20 into 9 because minus and minus will become plus and whose sum is minus 20 minus 9 as minus 29 so this is what I have so therefore the solution is going to be minus 20 by this 9 will be minus a that is 20 by 9 and this minus 9 by this minus a which is minus 9 equal to 1 therefore y square is equal to 20 by 9 because y square is equal to x and x has been found to be 20 by 9 which implies y is equal to plus minus square root of 20 by 9 we can simplify it further plus minus square root of 4 into 5 by 3 square root of 9 is 3 which comes to plus minus 2 square root of 5 by 3 so two possible values of y are plus minus this one then we can't ignore this one also so y square is also equal to 1 which implies y is equal to plus minus square root of 1 which is equal to plus minus 1 so this equation has four solutions y plus minus 2 square root of 5 by 3 and y equal to plus or minus 1. Let us see more examples where we will be reducing a given equation to quadratic form. He says solve x plus 1 multiplied by x plus 2 multiplied by x plus 3 into x plus 4 equal to 24. The general form of these equations I will also write as I have always written x plus b, x plus c, x plus d equal to k. Such equations are solved by smart rearrangement. Whenever you find coefficients, whenever you find linear factors like this, then you should combine them in such a way like here I will combine x plus 1 and x plus 4 why because 4 plus 1 is 5 and 3 plus 2 is 5 I'll make combinations where some of the 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 common uh, the uh, factor like 1 uh, sum of this 1 and 4 is same as the sum of the free term of these other two uh, two factors for example, if we have given, been given this, 
x plus 3, x plus 2, x plus 5, x plus 6. Then I would combine x plus 3 and x plus 5 because 5 and 3 is 8 and this. Such a combination you should always keep in mind in algebra because this combination whenever you have linear factors, this combination always pays you. Okay, let us make this adjustment. So what I will have is x plus 1 into x plus 4 multiplied by x plus 2 into x plus 3 equal to 24. Now I will open this up. This becomes x square plus 5x plus 4 as you can try on your rough side. I orally know that it will be a plus bx and this is ab. Likewise, x square plus 5x plus 6 equal to 24. So the whole purpose of this selection should be now obvious to you because it gives me 5x, 5x. Because 4 plus 1 is 5 and 3 plus 2 is 5, so I get a common story. So I will now put x square plus 5x equal to y. So what do I get? Which implies y plus 4 multiplied by y plus 6 equal to 24. Which implies, now I will open this one. This one will be y square plus 10y plus 24 equal to 24. So which implies this 24 and this 24, when this 24 comes to the left side, it will become 24 minus 24. So what I will be left with is y square plus 10y equal to 0. Which implies y into y plus 10 equal to 0, which implies y is either 0 or y is either minus 10 y0 or minus 10, in both the cases, I should be able to get 0. Now let us put these two y's into our original this one. I will make two partitions. Start with y equal to 0. So I will write x square plus 5x has to be equal to 0 on the first part and also x square plus 5x has to be equal to minus 10. Now, first of all, I will solve this one. This will be x into x plus 5 equal to 0, which implies x is either 0 or x is equal to minus 5. These are two solutions for x. And let us attend to the right side also. x square plus 5x plus 10 equal to 0. Here, if we try to find out two numbers whose product is 10 and sum is 5, we won't be successful because b square minus 4ac is equal to 5 square minus 4 into 1 into 10, which is equal to 25 minus 40 equal to minus 15, which is less than 0. This equation has no solution. So, my only two solutions are x equal to 0 and x equal to minus 5. Now let us take more examples where x appears either in the denominator or in the form of a power. Let us take those examples. Let us go further.